CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest, most cost effective, quickest pillow you can make. This makes an excellent gift. It's pretty large size pillow. So let's get into our materials. I do want to ask you real quick though, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notify me bell below if you haven't yet. And please share and like my videos. That helps more than anything. And I really appreciate it. I'll tell you the reason why this is so cost effective is because this took one skein of Bernay yarn, which I, the Bernay blanket yarn, which I found on sale at Walmart. It was like seven bucks. Um, and then I found this travel size pillow they are two for three dollars so this is a gift you can make for ten dollars and it looks so intricate so beautiful so soft because it's that wonderful Bernay blanket yarn and like I just showed you it is pretty big um, I'm adding some tassels on the end I'm going to show you how to do that but you don't have to do that if you don't want to it's all up to you I'm going to show you how to work in your ends with this bulky yarn if you've never used it before so what you're going to need for this like I said it was one skein of Bernay yarn you're going to need one travel size pillow from walmart uh this will work for any pillow as well i just wanted to show you exactly what i did you will need a um you're going to need a pretty big size hook bigger than i think the bernay yarn calls for a an eight millimeter hook and I'm using a big old 10 millimeter hook. So that's another thing that's gonna help you with this Bernay yarn. And I'm using these big um, darning needles, these plastic ones. This is what works best for this yarn. The metal ones, they don't work well in my opinion, okay? So um, yeah, so let's get into the tutorial. So for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna make a tiny pillow, basically, um, to show you how to do this because it would take forever if I did a, a big pillow. But for the count for my pillow, I'm going to do a stitch count of 34. So that's the exact pillow I showed you. Um, if you wanna make yours smaller and bigger, just remember you need to have an even count for this uh, stitch here, okay? So we're gonna make a slip stitch, I mean a slip knot. And I'm just, for the sake of the video, going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, okay? And then into, I'm going to work into the third stitch from the hook. So one, two, three, and I'm going to put a half double crochet. So the key to this yarn is leaving your tension nice and loose, okay? And then I'm going to put a half double crochet in each stitch all the way down. So I don't want it sloppy loose where I have huge holes between my work, but I want it to be loose enough to where when I come back over the top, I can see the stitches clearly, okay? So half double crochet all the way down. And then I'll tighten that end up and then I'll chain one and turn my work. That's what it looks like. And when I turn my work, what I'm going to do is, is right into this first stitch right here, right under our chain one, I'm going to put one half double crochet just normally, just like that. But in my next stitch, I'm going to go into the back loop. So I'm gonna turn my work on its side so I can see all these stitches from the top. Because if I look from over here, I might think that this is a stitch and this would be my back loop. So turn it on its side so that you can see them clearly. One, two, right here are my stitches. So I'm gonna yarn over and go through the back loop of my next stitch. Then I'm gonna yarn over and go through the front loop of my next stitch. And that's pretty much my sequence all the way down. So I'll go into the next one and go into the back loop and go into the next and go into my front. And again, back loop, doing a half double crochet, front loop, back loop, front loop, And then just like I did on my first, I'm going to do a half double crochet in my last stitch. So I'm just going to go right into there and do one half double crochet normally, okay? Then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work, 
okay? And that's literally the repeat right there. The, the repeat there is just a one row repeat after you do your row of half double crochets. So again, in this first stitch right here, we're just gonna work a normal half double crochet going under both uh, the front and the back loop. And then in the next one, we're gonna do a half double crochet in the back loop. And the next one, we're gonna do a half double crochet in the front loop. And the next one in the back loop. And in the next one in the front loop. And the next in the back loop. And the next in the front. Again in the back. And in the front. And then on this last stitch, you're going to work just a normal half double crochet. Okay? Just like that. And that's all you're gonna do. You're just gonna keep going like that. I did 16 rows of this right here. So um, 17 all together with your first row of half double crochet. So that's what I did for my pillow, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut off here and I'm gonna make another panel. So these are done in panels this pillow and so I'm just gonna do another one just like this one but of course you would keep going for all your rows and then I'm gonna show you how to sew it together. Okay so I just finished my other little panel here of my tiny pillow to show you and I'm gonna keep my yarn on this so here's my two panels I'm gonna place them like this you can work over your ends as you go or you can work them over later it's just whatever you want to do but for here I'm gonna chain one and then I'm gonna go right into this corner here just like this and then into this corner, and I'm gonna do a single crochet, chain one, and then go right back in and do a single crochet, okay? And then I'm going to work in all my stitches doing single crochets across, just like this. And these can be hard to find, so I just wanna tell you, for the top of my work, these are easy to find, but for the sides, they're not. So for my pillow, I did 19 single crochets on each of the short sides, okay? And then when I come over here, again, I'm gonna do a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, and that's going to make my corners. And then I'm just going to keep going around doing single crochets, just like this. Just joining these together. Just like that. And then you'll go all the way down. And when you get to this corner, you'll do a single crochet, chain one single crochet. And then when you get up to the top here, you wanna leave a hole up at the top to put your pillow in. So when you get up here to the top, just stop, pull out your yarn, your big loop, so you don't get it undone, and then push your pillow through, and then you can finish sewing, okay? So this isn't a turn inside out thing. This exactly the way what you're doing is what's gonna be shown, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop there because now you know to keep going around and what to do. And end, I'm gonna put it onto this huge hook. <laughs> I mean, huge darning needle. And I'm just going to, just like you would normally, go in and out of my work three times, just like that. One, two, and three, okay? And then you can cut off. All right, so now I'm gonna pick up my big pillow and I'm gonna show you how to um, do these tassels on the end if you wanna do them, okay? So we've got our big pillow here. So I'm gonna move it around to the side where I do not have a tassel. So I'm going to take approximately, these are about uh, a foot long, and I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of my yarn. I'm gonna fold them in half. I'm gonna take my large hook and I'm gonna go right into my corner here, just like this and I'm going to pull in my work. 
my pieces of yarn here. They're still in half. I'm going to leave them that way. And then you're going to pull these pieces through just like this. Okay. And then to tighten it, I take each individual piece and I pull and this will tighten everything. And so we've got that all tightened. And so now what we're going to do is we're just going to cut these as long as we want them, okay? So I'm going to keep them pretty long, so I'm gonna cut right about there. And that's what your tassel looks like on the end. Really pretty. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is great, easy, fun. Um, something to do for a Christmas gift. I really enjoyed it. But if you have any questions or comments or anything, you can ask below in the YouTube comment section. I try to get to everyone when I can. But if you're not comfortable with that, I have a Gmail below. I also have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and you can come over visit me there. I have some great content on there as well. Okay. So happy crocheting guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.